Nine places to touch a woman and make her go crazy for you. Ladies how are you today? Well I really think that we can all agree on one thing. We all know which female body parts men most frequently like to explore, right? But let's be honest, there is more to a woman's body than her vagina, breasts, and butt. According to the experts, the largest amount of nerve endings may be packed into those areas, but she has pleasure sensors all over her body, and getting her in the mood may be as easy as stimulating some of these often neglected parts. Incorporating touching these places into foreplay and sex, or just giving her some pleasure after a hard day, will definitely earn you some brownie points. The only bad thing is that she may be too shy to openly discuss what she wants. So guys there are a whole lot of things women secretly want in bed, but we're here to help you learn. 1. Her hair. First of all, you should know that maintaining their gorgeous locks isn't the only reason women go to their hair stylists so often. Well yes, and the whole process of wash, cut, color, and styling can actually be quite a stress reliever. Running your hands gently through her hair is a surefire way to send tingles down her spine. Let your fingers massage circles from her temples to the nape of her neck and she'll be putty in your hands. 2. Her pelvis. Guys, you should also know that concentrating some affection on her pelvis is a great idea. But however you'll have to resist the urge to slip down to her vagina while you're so close. Like teasing her inner thighs, kissing and licking around her pelvis will excite her until she's begging for more. Prolong the sensation by leaving the region to focus on another body part for a while. 3. Her feet. We all know that Pulp Fiction taught us that rubbing the feet of another man's wife may be an offense punishable by being thrown out a window, so the sensual appeal of a foot massage is obvious. But don't worry because there are few better ways to help her relax than to give her feet a good rub, especially if her job requires her to be on them all day. Do it right and grab some massage oil or lotion. This is also very important for you to know, don't forget to pay some attention to her toes, ankles, and the sides of her feet too. Some women really enjoy having their toes sucked, but others find it repulsive, so asking first is a good idea before putting them in your mouth. 4. Her earlobes. Did you know that touching, kissing, and even lightly biting the earlobes of your woman will up the bliss factor for her? How this works? Well the experts say that these delicate, soft lobes are very sensitive and most women thoroughly enjoy the sensation of having a man's lips on them. You can nibble around the outside of the rest of her ear as well, but for courtesy's sake avoid jamming your tongue inside her ear. 5. Her palms. We usually use our hands as tools to please our partners, but rarely we consider the pleasure potential of stimulating the hands themselves. Did you know that the palm of a woman's hand is an innocuous spot to focus a little attention on without making people around you uncomfortable? 
Tracing your finger along her palm will give her delightful shivers and make you appear sensitive and attentive. 6. Behind her knees. The area behind her knees is one that most men don't think of when trying to stimulate a woman. But you should know that this area is, in fact, quite sensitive. Gently caressing the back of the knee under her skirt while the two of you are in a public place will make her ready to get busy once you get home. Don't forget to pay some more attention to this special spot once you're alone too. 7. The small of her back. The best way to guide your woman through a crowd is to place your hand against the small of her back. This small gesture shows that you feel protective of her without being too pushy like an arm around the shoulder might be. When you're alone, kissing or licking down her spine to end up with a kiss on the small of her back will get her heart racing. 8. Her clavicle. Well yes, and a well-defined clavicle, or collarbone, can be very sexy on a woman. So, the question remains, why not show your appreciation for its beauty with your touch and kiss? Pay attention to this body part while she's still fully clothed, unbuttoning her shirt just enough to reveal the clavicle and no further. You can always come back to it once the clothes have disappeared as well to remind her of the anticipation it created when you started there. 9. The nape of her neck. Here's what you need to do, once you get to the nape of her neck, place a few light kisses there. In ancient Japan, the back of a woman's neck was seen as very attractive by men since it was one of the few places not covered by clothing. In modern times, the nape of the neck is often neglected in favor of more obvious places.